Hi there. Hi, we are Pablo and Anne from Tango Space where we help men and women in London and in Paris to move better, express themselves, dance elegantly and meet friendly people with our tango lessons. And in this video, we want to show you a very cool and very playful tango combination, a movement that you can use for vals. So yes, yeah, it's a very playful movement because what we are going to do, we are going to, to change the directions in the hero. Yeah? So we play the dynamics using opposite directions. So now we are going to break it down uh, this moment for balance. Yeah? So um, we are going to start with uh, taking a side step together and then I'm going to step outside of her with my right leg and I will invite her to do a half hero. Yeah? So it's back side forward but with the only difference that I'm going to invite her to do a small side step and then I will collect, I will change my weight and then when she go forward I will go back with my right leg so we go now in the other direction with the left leg outside I invite her to do small side step I collect, I change my weight and I go back with my left leg so this is it's going to be over there so you can play just with this we are going to add the second part but this is one change weight back forward change weight back so when i change my weight she's with the small size step okay. this, just with this you can start playing but what we are going to add is instead of going back so here we start and we will continue opening so we do one two three one two three i cross and i keep opening into the other contact hero. Okay, so now we are going to decompose the second part again and so you can see more clear uh, the details. So, uh, we are going to start uh, again with the side step, I step outside of her one step, I change my weight, I invite her to do a small side step, I go back with my right leg and then I go forward with the leg I invite her to do small side step, I change my weight and here I go back with my left leg and I'm going to cross. So I cross my right leg forward and I'm going to stay here in my left leg eh, as a decoration keeping my weight in my, in my left leg and my right leg just the cross and I will keep opening, I will keep inviting her to do the hero. So I will keep opening my right shoulder and she does side and I pivot and I follow her with my hips and my torso and now when she go back I'm going to go with this leg that I did across I'm going to go around her and to resolve with the forward ocho so the good thing of this moment is that it's, uh, basically twice we are changing the direction of the hero yeah? so it's very dynamic one more time so side forward change back Pam, pam, cross, and we show, we finish here. So the idea is not to stop, you know? we continue with the dynamic, and when we start going with the hero in one direction, we change direction, but we continue without pause, without stopping in, in the middle. So let's look at the steps for the followers now. We start with a side step with them. Take a back step, we dissociate here. Be careful, I'm not dancing here, I'm dancing towards my partner. Here, he's leading a very small side step. So leaders, we need from you to lead us a small side step, otherwise we are going to go into a normal medium side step like we would do in a normal trilo. So we need to you to add a little bit of a suspension so that we don't go doing a big side step, just take a small side step. We take a forward step, if he collects, we collect, and there is no weight on our right leg. Back, small side step again, so leaders, we need you to lead a small side step. Forward, side, here, this is a moment where we need to be completely, this in the, in the coming movement,
to need to be completely dissociated and co connected to our partner. So he's inviting our light to go back. We keep our torso towards our partner. Here, we keep our torso towards our partner. Take a forward step and finish in front of him. So this is a movement, ladies, that requires from us to have a lot of fluidity. Of course, we don't want you to anticipate but think that you are as much as he is in charge of the rhythm of the dancing. So you need to have fluidity and power in your contrahidos. And the second thing that it requires from us a lot, which is typical of all of the valse movements and all of the movements in tango that are circular, where we turn around each other, is that we need to have a lot of dissociation. So we always need to think that our torso goes towards our partner, even if he's when he's traveling in front of us and even if our hips are in another direction, like this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to show you in the brace how we do this uh, from the brace, yes? So we want to start in the closed brace, yes? We are dancing closed brace. And then for this moment, for this heel, we are going to open the brace. So we do the side step together. And here, when I step outside, I'm going to invite her to open, so I stay my axis, she goes to her axis. I, I need to make sure that I'm really straight and I, I feel his hand against my back, okay? I'm not trying to, to reach out for his torso, I'm really using his hand against my back. So we are dancing more with the backs as well, yes? when she goes to her back, I go to my back. And then we go back, forward, and then at the very end, we resolve going around, back into the close embrace. So we really hope that you like this moment as much as we do and that you can incorporate it into your dancing so that your valses are even more enjoyable and even more beautiful. And remember um, to, to play a bit more uh, with the different dynamics that you can create with this movement. Yeah? Because so when we change directions in the heroes, we can create more impulse, more dynamic and create different sensations in the dance as well, yes? to be more playful. If you are in Paris or in London, you can join us for our weekly tango lessons. We help men and women like you to feel more empowered, more elegant, more confident and have a lot of fun with our tango lessons. If you're on YouTube and you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and especially... Please keep learning and keep sharing your dancing because the world of tango needs your embrace. Yes, definitely. We look forward to seeing you in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.